Hello, fellow YouTubers. It is I, Jabo, doing another video. And firstly, I want to apologize for not getting much content done. Uh, it's been a strange winter thus far. And uh, we go shooting every weekend, but it's the weather really hasn't been conducive for filming anything. It's just been one of those stretches. We just, it's either been windy and cold, or it's been kind of spitting snowflakes and... But anyway, I wanted to make a video for a new rifle that uh, my brother acquired. And he's gracious enough to let me film it. And that would be the Mossberg Patriot Cerakote Stainless model in 308. So this is a 308, and I just absolutely love that design in the bolt and this is still a new rifle and it's like butter shoots great uh, we had a great time with it it's got a 22 inch barrel depending on the caliber you get it ranges from 22 to 24 i believe and it is threaded which is nice and it's also fluted which is nice and the barrel is separate from the stock. It's floating. Very accurate rifle. Uh, we didn't really get a chance to open this up at a long distance because of uh, heavy machine equipment parked uh, during the length that we usually like to shoot. But this, to me, one of these rifles that if I see this online and I see the laminate stock, I automatically, maybe because I'm older, I just think plywood, and plywood was always cheaper than real wood, and it meant cheap. So, if I saw this online, I'd probably be like, eh, laminate. Eh. But you see it in person, and I'm telling you right now, even in this video, it does not do it justice. There's different colors in here that just aren't getting picked up well. But, it is uh, a very nice, very nice, comfortable stock. And it's got the Monte Carlo cheek rest. And this thing shoots very nice. Now, the only problem we've run into it, and I'm going to do a close-up scan by in a second, is uh, that <laughs> the rifle is pretty light. And uh, my brother has also a 308 Spanish Mauser, which somebody replaced the stock on. And that is a fantastic shooter. And that one has iron sights, no scope. And this one here doesn't have any iron sights. So you need a scope on it. And it's lightweight. So what happens is, is offhand standing and shooting, it takes a while to really get used to this rifle. And it has a little bit more recoil than a heavier 308. So that is uh, something to consider. And um, so we get this uh, rubber butt pad, which is very nice. This is a comfortable rifle to shoot. And we have the bottom end of the butt pad there. And I'm going to do kind of a end to end. And you can see it's got the studs for the sling and the nice Mossberg logo there which is having a hard time to see it I've lost my lighting I have an overhead light that is burnt and haven't gotten a replacement yet so bear with me but you got the Mossberg logo down there and we have the trigger group and this does have an adjustable trigger and out of the box was a very extremely light barely nothing pull uh, to the point where it kind of felt like maybe you could have an accidental uh, discharge if you weren't careful if you're somebody that doesn't have good trigger discipline it might go off on you but it is a five plus one uh, magazine which comes right out easily 
with uh, that lever. It's a plastic polymer magazine. And you can see how easy that comes out. Just push that down and your finger is already touching it. And it just comes right out. Works very well. Had no problems with it at all. And uh, the takedown is easy, pretty much like most rifles. You take out a couple of bolts and uh, you can separate everything right out of the stock. So, um, you know, the differences between this and I believe the polymer one. I haven't looked at the polymer one, but I do know that when you see this uh, bolt in here and it has two little holes and i'm wrestling with keeping this uh from falling over and um usually that's because it's a wood stock and it has to hold the the magwell and all this other junk in here and uh so there's really not too much to cover more on this other than the bolt action is nice and smooth like I said, man, this is like, this only had like a, a few boxes shot through it. And the reason why getting a 308 is good is because it's established. The ammo is plentiful and it's rather affordable. And during that massive drought we had, that was one of the few calibers that was still available to buy at a re relatively normal price. And um, so that's a benefit of that also. My favorite's 3030 and my Marlin 336. And you know as well as I do, that ammo is hard to find as it is, even when it's plentiful. So anyway, we'll do a, a scale down through this. And uh, I think he is still in the process of changing those scope rings. Uh, he's, he doesn't have that all finalized yet, but we do have the safety, which is a thumb safety right here where you want it. So if you're hunting, you just do a simple and you're ready to shoot. So that's pretty good. And, um, so anyway, we'll go down this. It's a beautiful finish on the barrel. It really is. They did a really, really good job at that. And we get the fluted barrel. And again, you know, I apologize for the, uh, the lighting. That's just uh, what I have to deal with right now. I don't have professional equipment. You know, the good old days of YouTube, you didn't have professional equipment. People just turned on their uh, portable digital cameras at the time with an SD card or something. And made a video then you had to wait two days for it to upload with dial up or whatever but anyway um it is a great rifle and we'll go down one more length this way and i like that texturing in here feels very comfortable now for me i hold a rifle like this because i'm used to my marlin so my thumb will hit the hot barrel and i'll burn my thumb so I just have to make a little adjustment shooting this. That's not a big deal, but I have big hands and when I grab a rifle, you can see my thumb hangs over. I kind of have to put it at an angle out of the way. Kind of like when you're shooting a revolver and you want to get your thumb out of the way from the blast coming out the side of the cylinder. But um, anyway, um, that's it. Uh, has a polymer uh, trigger guard. That usually is the kind of question that will get asked a lot. And this was made to be more economical for a rifle, but also offer top quality shooting and function, which it does. And uh, this is a very, very nice. So I guess that about covers everything. And uh, 